it's Friday. What's going on everybody? Happy Friday to you all. We're just taking a little stroll on my uh, lunch break. Uh, today, a couple things I want to talk about. I have no, this has no direct uh, line, I guess, for where I want this video to go. I just, I was thinking about some things uh, while editing the last video, the uh, Trident versus Tri uh, Street Triple video. Um, and there's just some things that I, I guess I wanted to go over, run some, some of my thoughts by you guys. I'm going to start it off. I, I made another list. Uh, I just think it's easier because my mind will get jumbled uh, as I focus on riding in the road and things that want to hurt me. Uh, I made a list and this is just some observations uh, that I've made um, while I've started this uh, YouTube journey here. Uh, first thing is going to be ND filters. Um, I'm having a hell of a time. Hell of a time. I'm not from Northern California. I'm having a hell of a time uh, with the current ND filters that I have. Uh, they are cheap ones that I got on Amazon last year. Um, and they're the ones that kind of like stick on over the uh, GoPro's OEM glass. I think that it's like a, a glass on glass effect because it doesn't look as sharp as I'd like it to be. Um, and while maybe the viewers don't necessarily care, um, I care. So uh, there's a couple that I'm looking at. I think it's like one's like a Polar Pro, but it's like $89. Uh, I really only need one. I typically only use, uh, typically only use an ND8. Uh, in Oregon, there's just clouds and I, I ride up in the mountains. So um, I feel like all I realistically need is an ND8. But I mean, I think for right now it's okay. My problem is, is that I'm always constantly thinking about what, what could I do better? What is the next step to making this footage better? Um, whether it be the actual camera or plot lines, this and that. And I think that I'm teetering on the edge of do I want to take this serious or am I just doing this for fun and I'm strictly standing by just doing it for fun that's all it is that's realistically all it is I feel like once I get into once I get into uh, like sorry uh, once I get into like actual like taking it serious I feel like that's when all the fun goes out the window because it may start to feel more like a job uh, versus like me actually wanting to wake up in the morning and shoot a video for you all uh, because that's how my life has been the past week um, I've been staying at my parents house uh, house sitting for them which is where I keep my bike so I have full access to uh, when I have lulls at work go hop on the bike and just go film a quick video I literally wake up and what am I filming today that's the first thing that kind of goes into uh, my mind and I, I like it it's a little bit tiring <laughs> to be honest with you because I'm always constantly thinking about uh, what am I gonna film today you know so it's not a bad thing though I, I really I'm, I don't mind it at all uh, and technically this bike is you know new on the market it's new everyone you know wants to get as much content they can on it uh, with it not being a press release so I figured that if I could give you a honest opinion from someone who actually owns it uh, if I could just make a whatever video regarding it I hope it helps uh, I enjoy making them and you know that so that's that's the first point on my list or I guess second um, but I'll, I'll dive in a little bit more uh, into the whole like uh, the content uh, the things surrounding that uh, in a little bit the next thing on my list um, I think I mentioned two videos ago that I was going to uh, grab a new helmet or that I was interested in the showy uh, RFRS or SR or whatever it was um, while I'm sure that's a terrific helmet and certainly better than the Sedici I currently owned um, I have had my eye on the RF1400 for a very long time uh, since last year technically so I don't know if you consider that a very long time uh, but uh, yeah, I went ahead and I grabbed the uh, RF1400. I figured that if I if I keep spending money, it should be on safety. 
and not that the Sidichi is an unsafe helmet, it's just technically it's not the safest helmet. Will it work? Yes. But to what extent? I learned a lot about um, what Snell and ECE and DOT and how they test and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it, it slightly got into my head that like, uh, if I'm riding a bike of this caliber, caliber? caliber uh, that I should you know really take my gear a little bit more serious um, I do have the Sidichi with level 2 armor in it um, but I'm wearing stupid rescue pants um, but I care more about my brain than my legs right now so I felt that the helmet um, to really kick off riding season a new showy it wouldn't hurt and that's a helmet I could have for the next decade so I'm not I'm not worried about uh, worried about that at all the showy I uh, was able to actually get through somebody who is, is pretty important and, and the reason why this channel exists my buddy Colin who, uh, who lives in Minnesota uh, he has a Daytona a 675R that he just rebuilt um, and uh, this is gonna be a kind of a separate video that I, I'll explain more but a uh, huge shout out to Colin um, it's just I mean, it was a good price and I, I could completely justify buying the helmet uh, for my noggin for my wife for my Korg for my family, I figured that it's it's worth it. Not that not that the Sidichi is magically going to make my brain explode, but in the event that something were to happen, I'd rather be I would rather know that it's like top notch. I mean that's that's the biggest thing is the safety. I've heard that it's very quiet. Um, I'm sure that one of you guys will confirm that for me. The Sidichi is kind of loud. I hear a little bit of wind. You get it sort of picked up in the uh, in the in the helmet with this whole moto vlog and thing. What are you doing, brother? Um, what's going on here? Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, RF 1400, I got it in the like Nardo gray. I think it's like basalt gray. Uh, it's basically the same color of my Sidichi. Um, I personally really like the color. Uh, if I ever got my dream RS6 Avant, it would most likely be in a Nardo. Uh, regardless, I'm very excited. The helmet should be here next week, uh, which means I get to uh, you know, I'll make a video on that, uh, and then uh, I really want to get the photochromatic uh, windshield, but that's another $200, and uh, that is going to segue uh, into something later, but uh, I also picked up one more thing for the bike. I know I said I needed to stop, but um, I have this same part on my Trident 660, and I felt that it was uh, necessary, and I just want to spread your uh, awareness to this part because I think it's very cool. Um, it is the shifter link support. Um, apparently on old um, street triples or whatever um, there was a, a thing with the gear like the, 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 the twisty thingy uh, that that would break um, I doubt it's a problem on this but um, apparently it's uh, a necessary thing uh, depending on who you ask uh, it just helps with um, really uh, not having a false neutral uh, more direct shifts up and down um, I have it on my Trident and I don't think I even mentioned that but it is it is it's pretty cool I felt the difference on it um, it's just a cool little piece to have and I think it was like 60 bucks I mentioned it uh, in, a, in another video but uh, it's race torques I'll throw a link for it down below I think I got it from like motomachines.com or something like that uh, again not affiliated with any of these things that I ever recommend uh, just a dude being a guy and having fun putting stuff on a bike because it's relatively inexpensive um, so yeah uh, that should be in probably next week so I have a little bit of content uh, for next week however I won't be at my parents house um, every single day there uh, I get to go back to my own uh, thankfully I miss my house uh, and so yeah content might not come daily like you've been used to uh, but uh, it's still going to exist and I'm still going to make it as uh, ideas come up uh, and that is going to uh, put us into the next the next thing and, and that's content uh, I have filmed so many videos in the past month with this bike it's basically on average like a video every day to every other day um, and they're you know I just throw them together they're they're pretty easy to make uh, I feel like I could and I should uh, maybe take a little bit more time what's going on here maybe take a little bit more time on creating videos um, I don't know if you guys prefer the whole raw, like, just, you know, here's a video, it's only me writing, there's no B-roll, and there's no, like, cinematic stuff, which is technically B-roll. Um, it's just me kind of writing and talking, and that's it. Uh, so, 
I might. I'm just considering it. I wanted. I guess I wanted to ask your guys' opinion on uh, on some things uh, regarding that. Like, what would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? Um, am I just a blabbering idiot? Hold on one second. more things that I'm going to talk about here. Uh, this probably will be a pretty quick video, or, or maybe not, who knows. Uh, it's just money spent. <laughs> I've gone a little bit overboard with this thing, um, and I've talked about it, but uh, there's just lots of stuff that I've bought. It's, it's really taken a, a toll on me. Uh, not, 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 not mentally, uh, but financially. Um, but I want to get this thing kind of set up before, like, you know, riding season really happens, even though I keep saying that, and it's like, <laughs> I've ridden every day for a week, so what are you talking about, Connor? Well, with everything that I've ever purchased that I modify, um, even before I get it, I have lists. Things that I want to do, um, and then things come up, and it gets added to the list, and it's never-ending. Um, so if you're gonna sit here and say that, oh, this is done. I've been building this for this long, and it's done. It's not done. It's never done. It just, that is what it is. Had a hiccup with my GoPro there, uh, but I had just got a text from my wife, so, and it showed up on my, wait, where'd it go? It showed up on my dash, which is kind of cool. That's the first time it's ever happened while I've ridden. Um, not that it like doesn't work, but stop to show. Oh, so I have to be stopped to show the message? I mean, sure, for safety, but like, I don't know. I think that the, the Bluetooth module is cool for like being able to change your music uh, if you don't want to go from here to, to here, but stupid. Um, regardless, I don't think it's worth the money. I just wanted to take a second to just thank you guys uh, personally. It's, it's pretty cool being able to uh, get in touch with all of you and talk about whatever and what's going on there. Talk about whatever, uh, talk about things we love. Lots of bikers out today. It's good weather. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's cool. Thank you for the support. Uh, grown, this channel has grown a bit uh, in the past month. I think we're up like 450 subs, so hello to each one of you. It's always pretty cool. Um, not that I, I go after numbers, because it's what everybody wants nowadays. is fame and wealth. I just want to hang out with the bros, which are you guys. Um, so thank you guys. Um, but please, Jumping back, please, if you have any uh, content ideas, just throw them at me. Throw me a curveball, left fielder, throw me something. Um, I, I would like to review bikes, um, specifically Triumphs. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. I really want to ride a Rocket 3, the Hummer H1 <laughs> of motorcycles. I think it would be a lot of fun to ride that. Uh, I want to ride a Bobber because that's something that I would be interested in purchasing. Um, if I, uh, if I wanted to get more of a cruiser and less of like a street bike type thing, um, I would like to ride. I think those two are at the top of my list and maybe a Tiger. Um, I've ridden my dad's 850 GSA, uh, which is really cool, but I want to see what the uh, British version of that feels like. I'm sure it feels fantastic. Uh, not necessarily the 660, the Tiger 660, because I have a Trident. Uh, I want to ride like the 850 or, or the big one. The big guy. I want to ride that one. My legs probably won't fit, but it's fine. We'll be good. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend. I probably won't be posting any more this week. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the weekend. Probably go out on a ride with some friends um, or do something car related. <laughs> Get out of the house and not worry about filming because I deserve it. Um, so thank you guys. And I hope all of you have a great, great, great weekend. Bye guys.